Life is a place where you can move forward and learn, but it, all, but it is also a place of stack motion or lack of movement. My life has been mostly learning. I have yet to have pointless static throughout my life, from the time I was a baby to now, and hopefully more years to come. Science has been my main inspiration to move forward and learn, and not have any static. At the end of first grade, I was obsessed with reptiles, so when I learned about the Jurassic period in second grade, I figured out that most animals had their beginnings in the prehistoric era, and most were fossilized. This made me want to become an archaeologist. I wanted to dig up bones, and thus began my amazement in science. When I was nine, science engulfed me. I was totally obsessed. I even took it too far. I started to play with fire. I was obsessed with how the fire would represent a chemical reaction and change one element to another totally new element I did not know. This obsession led me to begin my led me led me behind my parents' backs every day when I was alone with my sister, who is older than me by three years, I would sneak the matches out and would proceed to burn flammable liquids and other materials. <laughs> Watching the chemical reaction happen, luckily, one day my love Loving parents caught me. They taught me that if I wanted to burn small things to watch the chemical reaction, I needed an adult supervision. One summer, my friends decided that they wanted to teach me how to skateboard. So, when they got their chance on my birthday, they gave me their old board. At this point, I decided to treat this learning experience like an experiment and went along with it. After a couple weeks, the experiment was exploding like two atoms colliding at the speed of sound. A month passed, and I was starting to give up, but my mom gave it a try and ethically failed. <laughs> and this was when I decided if I fail, I fail, but I'll always try again, just like when scientists keep coming up with new theories and hypotheses. When I was in fifth grade, I did not learn that much yet in science class until I met my new fifth grade teacher, Ms. Grimes. I was told that science was going to be one of our main focuses, so throughout the year, I actually learned science in school, and out of amazement, I took notes. I learned so much that year, like all about convection currents and human anatomy. Actually, learning about science in class expanded my knowledge in different areas of science. Last year, I wanted to go to a different school. I was just so tired of the public schools and needing a new environment. This is what led me to be to this fabulous school, to new doors, new discoveries, and better learning experiences. The first time I stepped into the school, I was hesitant and nervous, but I was, but it was one of the best days of my life. I met new people and went out of my comfort zone. I. I knew I wanted to go to the school. When I got in, I was so happy. And life sped up to no static again. I could not wait to meet new friends and get a new and get to know them better. On the Mount Everett trip, I was put in a vehicle with five other kids, Miles, Marjorie, Maya, Nim, and Michaela. Naturally, like an atom, I tried to bond with the other atoms to make a full outer shell of electrons. <laughs> Otherwise known as friendship. So when we started to pile into the car, I started to talk to the others. First, the first person I talked to was Miles. After that, I started to talk to Marjorie and Maya. <clears throat> when we got to the campsite, we set our, up our tents and played a game of capture the flag. We decided using my hat as a flag, not my flag, but the other flag. flag. But this hat was my science thinking beanie. When we were called in to dinner, we left my beanie out there, and I never went to go get it. I never saw it again. But now that being symbolizes my movement and non-static. Throughout my life, my parents has, have supported me in my crazy science and experimentation of different things. Just this year, my parents agreed with me on one crazy project, making a globin out of PVC pipe. It took a couple of weeks to get all the materials I needed but I got the materials and put them together, like when you have one oxygen, one hydrogen and two oxygen atoms, creating water. By making a two-foot cut of pipe and adding a slip adapter, but that is not...
not the best part. The best part was experimenting with, with which kinds of darts worked the best. When I started the experiment, I was making a mess until I made myself a lab. Now I have a little lab where I spend most of my life, nights and where, where I think about life. Life is great. Has so much meaning, and to me, life is pulled together with science. Thanks to Emerald, my life has been so. My life has had so many new experiences, and I've made so many new friends. Just like an atom bonding with other atoms. Whether my life is bonding with other atoms or having fun with old ones, like a strike of lightning, plasma, in the, like a strike of plasma in the sky. Life flashes by, and I will always cherish life like a fragile crystal structure.